to share with us my first experience as a single parent in the country, my first winter in the country. And so without any further delay, I would like to first um, share through my friend a special song before I share my testimony. So stay tuned. King of my life, I crown thee now. Then shall the glory be. Lest I forget thy thorn crown grow, lead me to Calvary. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony. Lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. Show me the tomb where thou wast laid, tenderly mounded west. Angels in robes of light array. God thee was the slave. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thy agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. Lay me like Mary through the gloom, come with a gift to thee. Show to me now the empty tomb, lead me to Calvary. Lest I forget Gethsemane, Lest I forget thy agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. May I be willing, Lord, to bear daily my cross for thee. Even thy cup of grief to share, thou hast brought all for me. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thy agony, lest I forget thy love for me. Lead me to Calvary. Amen. Hello, hello. Welcome. I just want to share with us um, my experience, my first winter in the country as a single parent. 
And just want to share this as a form of encouragement. Um, the just shall live by faith. Those who have may have seen my previous video of how God has led me to the country through faith. Uh, you may want to see that. I will post the link in the video below. So let's get started. All right. So I want to first and foremost say that those who may have been familiar with my previous video, I did mention that country living is character building. And it doesn't just end when you just move. It's a continual, gradual thing. So I do want to praise God for that. I definitely had to learn to build character, especially uh, when there's where I live and if you live in an area where there's a lot of snow, because I'm, I'm in Canada, of course, so we do get our share of snow. And um, it's important. They say, you know, well, let me tell you this. Let me put it this way. Country living is not for the faint of heart. OK, um, so you got to put on your spiritual endurance, physical endurance and just Get your hands on the plow because shoveling uh, as well as... And you know what's amazing? I have to really say, uh, since I've been here, I have definitely built some more muscle mass. Uh, not to show off or anything, but I don't know if you can see that. Okay. As you can see, I'm petite. I've always been this way. But uh, being here, definitely I had to... It's important to be physically fit, okay? Um, you cannot be in the country and not, you cannot be in the country and not seek to be physically fit, okay? So that's important aspect. And me and my son, we go every morning to get our our exercise in the open, fresh air, and that's a blessing, okay? Um, and so. It's important uh, to have, if you happen to have a gas stove or a wood stove, uh, it's very important to have that handy if you have no power. Or if you have a camping stove, that's also good. Or it's also important to learn how to make ready-made prepared foods. Um, learning to make your own bread, uh, sprouting, having your sprouted seed, seedlings and so forth so it's ready to eat. If you have canned goods. I always make sure I have a good amount of canned goods, some sprouting, ready-to-made foods, pre-soaked seeds and nuts that I have there uh, in cases like that. Um, and also, it's uh, ha I happen to be near an area where there I can get like, free spring water as well. So uh, when we don't have power, we also don't have water as well. And I have happen to have a well where I live. And so... Praise God, he always finds a way to provide, right? So I always make sure I have like bottles, huge jugs of, I'm talking about five liters and 18.9 liters of water. So we happen to have that as well. And um, hey, if you need to wash or bathe yourself, Get into the habit of doing some cold showers. Well, what I mean by cold, briefly, you know, like a sponge bath and stuff like that. Keep yourself clean and neat. And uh, also, I it's important to have an emergency kit, not only for the home, but in the vehicle. So you want to have your car emergency kits, uh, your ropes, uh, your flares, and all those things like that, your flashlights. I, I as, as I those who may have seen the video, I like I mentioned in the past, uh, will know that I used to be an air cadet, so that really came in handy. And I'm thankful for my mother, who happened to be a single mother, who raised us all, and sent us to the air cadets when I was a child. So that came in handy um, in terms of learning how to survive in different uh, circumstances and learning how to uh, trust God and all these things. And the importance of growing your own food. Um, again, this is not. Uh, this is so important, right? Uh, I cannot emphasize that enough. Um, but anyways, in any case, I just want to encourage us to say that uh, whether you're single, whether you're married, or whether you're a single parent, um, there's hope for you, and uh, and I think it's possible with God. And I thank God uh, for, in the country too, the people, the mindset is not the same mentality as those in the city. So you'll find people who are nice enough to mow your lawn uh, and so forth. 
I have uh, someone to also who uh, cleans the snow off for me uh, with their professional tractor as well that uh, I hired to do that for me. Um, and if you may not have um, the means as well, again, the Lord will provide. He will give you strength. The Bible says uh, His strength is made perfect in our weakness. So not just on a spiritual sense, but even a physical sense. Um, sometimes you may have, may have to end up doing some things on your own. And that's okay too. And God will give you the energy and strength to do so. And so that is my encouragement. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, character building is really, truly, you really, will, you really will be put to the test uh, when you're in the country in terms of your character and patience and just trusting God to provide your meat. Like, it's a day-to-day, -day leaning on God experience. So that's my experience, my first winter here. I remember I had friends that even asked me, Shalene, what are you going to do? How are you going to do in the winter? I said, God will take care of those things. He led me here. He knows. He will teach me every step of the way. And He has. And I can really say it was a good experience so far, and um, we have nothing to fear. And faith actually is the opposite of fear. We should have faith knowing that God will take care of us. Because He owns this whole universe. And He knows the end from the beginning. So He's fully aware of these things. Just have to learn to trust God in every circumstance that we may find ourselves in. Alright, that's it. So... Thanks for watching, God bless you, and bye for now. Get right with God, His pardon is free. Get right with God, He's waiting for thee. Our Jesus is calling, oh come unto me. Yeah.